My name is Terrell Barkley. I'm owner and operator of Barkley's Barbecue. What I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you guys how to prepare pork ribs the proper way. Yo, check this out. What got me into cooking was I would always cook barbecue for my family. That's what they always wanted me to do. So next thing I know, little kids on the block, they would want something. I start sharing with them. So next thing you know, the parents started coming. So I started sharing with the parents. After a while, folks just kept saying, listen, you need to do something with this. You really have a talent for it. We wound up building a food truck. After we built the food truck, we couldn't keep up with that. We built a barbecue concession trailer with a 300-gallon grill for doing big, massive events. A doom day consists of over 550,000 people every single year. We cover that. I got basically a pre-seasoning that I do. It's a salt, it's a pepper, it's a garlic powder, and it's a black pepper. I add all of my ingredients. Oh, it's a little bit of cayenne also, just for a little pop. And you can do marinating in a pan. It does not have to be done in a bag all the time. Rub it down with your mustard real good. Now, remember, good generous portion of seasoning on the meat side. A little light coating on that side, the skin side. Pour your vinegar on. When you're doing your next rib, you put it straight on top. It's the vinegar is going to sit. So folks, why don't you follow me this way? After this process, I'm gonna show you all the magic happens. This is where it all happens at. You need to have your grill properly seasoned. You look all along my grill, you say, oh wow, that's a lot of grease, that's a lot of this, that's a lot of that. What this actually is, this is flavor. You need your grill to help to give you the seasoning into the meat. I'm using this as a grill smoker. And what that is, is I'll only put heat and wood in the middle part. And then as you see, I have the ribs outlined along the edges. What this does, it allows the meat to slow cook and it keeps the flame and the heat from being directly under the meat, which dries it out faster. You don't want to use wood chips. What happens with wood chips, wood chips tend to burn up fast and it gives you too much heat. What you want to do, you want to go with big blocks or half a logs of hickory wood or whatever wood you choose. A lot of times I use cherry wood also. Cherry wood, apple wood gives you a whole lot of flavor. It has that little bit of uh, zest and that little bit of fruitiness to it. What I'm applying on here, I call it the stuff. I will give you one ingredient, vinegar. That's it. The rest of it, don't worry about it. Every time I open up my grill, I douse it down. What this is going to do, it's going to help to tenderize. It's going to help to flavor the meat. Vinegar is an excellent, excellent, excellent food to use when marinating and while basting and cooking when you're barbecuing. Trust me. Do not put aluminum foil on your grill, people, please. Cook right on the open grill. That's what grilling is all about. Plus the foil sticks. It doesn't allow the food to cook properly. Put your food on the open grate. Set your heat properly and take your time with it. If you got a big flame, close it. It's real simple. We get ready to take a pan and take these babies off in a minute. They've been officially on right now for three hours, eh, maybe a little bit more. To me, baby backs are just too lean. They tend to dry out more. I don't like the spare rib. The spare rib is real big and bulky. This is actually a spare rib that's been trimmed down. They nicknamed it the St. Louis cut. So basically what you're gonna get is a good quality piece of rib that's gonna come out looking like this. How are you gonna complain about that? Don't eat the camera, folks. Now we got the finished product here, check that out. Add your little barbecue sauce to that bad boy. And trust what I'm telling you, perfection has never been so sweet. Oh yeah, baby, we got thumbs high here. I'm Shirley Madden. And I'm Regina Mitchell. For more videos like this, subscribe to WHYY.